Hello friends, my name is Miss Fletcher. Welcome to my classroom where everyone is an artist and it's impossible to make a mistake. Today we're going to be learning all about the watercolor pencils that came in your art kits. Let's go to the drawing board. So today you're going to need your watercolor pencils, a brush from the water pan that you got in your kit, a pencil, your pencil sharpener, and then I just got a little dish of water. And my paper today is from the construction paper pack that came in your kit. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these items to the side. I need my regular pencil. And I'm just going to write the names of my colors up along the top of the paper. So I'm going to start with pink. And then we have a red. We have orange, yellow, we're going in rainbow order today. We have a light green, and there's a dark green. And we have a light blue and a dark blue. purple. So we have our entire rainbow now and then we also have a brown, a white, and a black. So I've gone and put all of my colors along the top of my paper. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take one color at a time and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be putting a mark on here. Now I've been using my pencils a little bit, so I'm going to actually show you how to use the sharpener because um, this one could use a little sharpening. So it's important with colored pencils when you put it in to not try to do your sharpening with your hand clear back here. What will happen is that puts a lot of like torque on the sharpener and on the pencil lead and it'll break. So you need to come up close, like almost touching right here. And that will give a lot more strength to the pencil lead. You'll notice I'll get a really nice uh, sharp uh, point that way. Now, if you struggle doing with that, doing that, it's okay to ask a, an adult in your house to help you. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make just a mark, and we want it to be a little bit long because we want to be able to see what it's going to look like with our water. Okay. So I'm going to take one color at a time. I'll go to my red next. into my orange my yellow and this is going to let me be able to see what all of these colors look like um, on the paper before I actually go to use them in a project and we have a light green and our dark green it's nice that they gave us some variety in colors we have a light blue, and a dark blue, we have a purple, and we have a beautiful rainbow selection here, very nice. And then we've got our brown and our white. Well, it's not going to really show, but I'll put it on here. It does uh, blend very nicely and I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. And we have our black. Okay, so we have all of our colors out now. And what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and see what happens when I activate them with water. Now if you haven't used your brush yet, it's going to have a plastic tip on it and you can just take it off and put it into um, the recycling. You don't need to keep it. So now I'm going to go, um, when a brush is dry, you never want to bend on it. You want to make sure that you actually take it into water first. And, uh, that, and then you can check to make sure that it's clean before you work on a project 
and then it's also nice and soft um, as you go to work with it. So I'm going to take some water down to my pink and in the bottom half of it I'm just going to see what happens when I take water to it and I'm going to activate that pink. Now I don't want to go into my red because I'll take pink in there and I'm not going to be able to really see what that color looks like. So I'm going to make sure I clean my brush very nicely and now I'll go into my red and I can see what that color is going to look like. And I clean my brush and I go into my orange. And I'm going to keep going all the way down. And you're going to notice that I'm leaving the top part of this on each of them. And that lets me see what the color is going to look like when it's just left dry. And this will be a nice reference sheet for you as you go to make art. It really lets you see what each of these colors can do. And it's really nice to be able to use them both ways. Sometimes you want just a regular colored pencil, but sometimes it's very nice to be able to take some water into it as well. You'll notice each time I'm cleaning my brush. Now I'm going to show you the white. It's going to be hard to see. It's going to make a little spot on here just because there's a wet spot on the paper, but you'll notice it is really hard to see the white there. And we're going to go ahead and do the black as well. And so there's all of our colors um, with water added. Now what's going to be nice to do is actually see how these blend together. So I'm going to go right underneath and I'm going to just make a little mark with each one. And I'm going to let them touch together so that you can see um, how the colors blend with each other as we add in water. So I'm just going in the same order that I did up here. This lets me see the colors together. And you can see I already have a really nice rainbow happening. And I'm going to do the brown, white, and the black a little ways over. And I'm going to show you uh, what the white actually does with both the brown and the black. So you actually will be able to see it there. I'm going to put the black over here, leave a little spot for that over there. Now I'm going to take my water, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to start here with my pink, and then I'm going to just start to move into my color, next color. And I am going to let them touch together. And you're going to see what happens as the colors start to move with one another. There we have it, we have a really nice blend there. And now I can take and do a blend in with my white. So see how I can get a light brown or I can get a darker brown. And I can do the same thing with the black. I can have a black or with the white I get a nice gray. So it's really sweet how you can get light browns and grays with these pencils as well. Now at this point you've got some extra space so I think it might be nice for you to go ahead and do a little bit of experimenting. Like you might want to see what it looks like when you do purple into a pink. Like how do these colors work side by side and what happens if the pink crosses in a little bit? What's going to happen with that color blend? Or maybe what happens with the dark green and the white? What do these two do together? So you can take and play with different color combinations down here and start to see what your colors can do. So here's our pink into purple. Ooh, that's really pretty together. And let's see what our green into our white does. Ooh, that gives a really interesting green color. 
So you can go ahead and just play with your different colors and make different combinations down here. You might want to see if the red and the blue oops, <laughs> really make purple. Gosh, I wonder if I mix these two together, are they going to make purple for me? Hmm, I don't know. Ah, pretty close. A little bit. So I can totally go ahead and play with all of my colors. Now when I'm all finished, I'm going to go ahead and take and put my pencils back into their box so they'll be easy to find the next time. I'm going to put my paintbrush back into its watercolor pan, dump my water out, and put everything back into my art kit so I don't lose it. They gave you that big bag to make it really easy to not lose your items. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here to take care of it. Everything goes back into its house. And then I'm going to empty this out before I put it in because if this opens up in my art kit, it'll make a really big mess. So I'm going to take and put all of these items into my art kit and, uh, and dump my water. I hope you enjoyed learning about the watercolor pencils. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.